Everyone down in Hawkins liked Christmas a lot, but the Grinch who lived in the Upside Down did not. The Grinch hated Christmas, he had no good reason, and the fact that this show got a whole second season? It was time that the Grinch went into their place and spread Christmas cheer all over their face. Only one thing, how to get there from here? The dimensions were separate, a path wasn't clear. He pushed on their wall and just couldn't get through. Then he had an idea, he knew just what to do. His demi-dog Max, he dressed up like a deer, and he cut a big gash like a Christmas tree shear. He stepped into Hawkins that cold Christmas Eve, and he took all their gifts and was ready to leave when he heard a small sound, and he turned round to see little Cindy Lou Levin, who was no more than three. Why, hello, my dear. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! Yes, Stranger Things, Grinch, what'd you guys think? I thought it was a lot of fun. I actually storyboarded that and wrote it and did the voice for it. That was me doing the Boris Karloff narration. Also, I storyboarded that whole thing on my iPad Pro with the Procreate program. And no, Apple is not sponsoring this video. Wish they were, but they're not. They're not sponsoring it. Neither are the Procreate people. I just love drawing on the Procreate program on my iPad Pro. I have you, I've got my little Apple Pencil here. So uh, here's some of the storyboards that I did, uh, storyboard panels that I did. And they're bigger than my normal storyboard panels that I do, but in this case, this idea was thought of so quickly. We thought of the idea about three weeks ago, and because Christmas was coming up so quickly, we had to get this done quick. So it took me about a week to do the storyboards. I did them in full color and I had to send them to my animator who animated this whole thing in about a week and a half. The turnaround time was extremely quick, so I had to make sure that I had everything spelled out for my animator, and he turned it around really quick. His name is Jeremy Chin Chu, so hats off to Jeremy Chin Chu, my producer, Jay Steele, for getting this all organized and uh, taken care of. Thanks to Jace. But here's some of the storyboards I did. I want you guys to check them out. Uh, so this first panel is really fun. Obviously, normal Hawkins at Christmas time. I wanted the whole scene to flip over, so we see the Grinch in the Upside Down. By the way, this is my first time ever really drawing the Grinch. I've had him in my head for years and uh, never really got to do anything with him uh, in my other jobs and stuff, so a lot of fun doing the Grinch. Just keeping the movements basic. You guys can still tell a very good story in animation with very few movements. You don't have to have a ton of movement. Just eyes can move, hands can move, you know, arms can move. You don't need to have the whole character moving as long as the story is being told clearly. Storybooks, right? You turn a page of a storybook, there's really no movement at all, but the story's told. So make sure your drawings are very, very clear. Just some of the storyboards are a lot of fun. There's the one here I really like of Winona Ryder and her kids. I had to caricature them. Uh, and here's uh, the Grinch trying to break through from the upside down into the real world. We had to include the Christmas uh, lights wall, of course, in Winona Ryder's house. Uh, which was a lot of fun. And I also had to include as much Grinch stuff in there as I could, using the Grinch and his dog, Max. Remember in the uh, original Chuck Jones cartoon from back in the 1960s? He has a little dog and he tied the antler on his head. And so we wanted to put, of course, the dog moment in here too. So we had to have the Demi Dog from season two. We've incorporated elements from season one of Stranger Things, season two of Stranger Things, and the Grinch. Let me see what, oh yeah. I also love when um, the Grinch is sliding the bat with the nails in it out from under Steve's arm as Steve sleeps. His hair is perfect, of course. That's such a great little Chuck Jones Jones move from the cartoon where the Grinch has one finger and he slides out the candy canes in the cartoon, sliding the candy canes out. Really cool. And my favorite moment in the whole cartoon is uh, when the Grinch meets Eleven as Cindy Lou Who. She's Cindy Lou Levin. <laughs> I laughed when I thought of that. Anyway, thought that was fun. And of course we gotta give her a waffle, the bloody nose, the whole thing. It was perfect little ending. Just because we didn't have a ton of time to finish a huge, giant, epic episode of Stranger Things meets the Grinch. We just had um, Cindy Lou Levin blow up the Grinch at the end. And so that was the fun part. So there you go. So Stranger Things meets the Grinch. Merry Christmas. If you guys like this, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what else we should mash up too. I mean, you know, we did Grinch meets Stranger Things, which is a lot of fun. Do I do, I don't know, you know, Cat in the Hat with Pirates of the Caribbean, which would be called like Cat in the Pirate Hat? Or do we do... Uh, Black Panther with Hello Kitty, and we could buy a note. Boy, that would be interesting. So, what do you guys think I should do? What should I mash up? Let me know, and we'll keep doing it. Also, give me a title for this series. You know, do I call it Pop Goes the Culture, or Cartoon Craziness, or 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe Butch drew that. You know, what do I call that? I, I would love, you know, to know what you guys think because I know you guys are obviously way more creative than I am today for sure. Okay, so anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and we'll see you later. Hey, Heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games downloaded here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag HeartFanArt and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop. <laughs>